So we have body sculpt day six. Grab yourselves a pillow because we're doing lower abdominals and pelvic floors. So first of all, just put the pillow to one side but so you can easily get hold of it. Lay yourself down on your back. Now try to really listen to what I'm saying. Um, obviously, if you need to watch me, that's fine, but I will try and be as descriptive as possible so it's about the feel of what you are doing. Okay, so lay yourself, I'll get the position first before I put the timer on. So lay yourself on your back. Now we need to find something that is called neutral spine. Now back in the day, it always used to be pressure back into the floor, pressure back into the floor. No, I want to find neutral spine. But first of all, let's get the knees, the hips and the feet all hip width apart. Don't drop the knees out, don't have the knees totally together. If you're unsure, take your hands straight up towards your knees. If your arms are going outwards, you need to just close your legs up a little bit so your hands are in line with your knees. Place your hands down on the floor, shoulders away from your ears. Now press your back into the floor for me, please. Now arch your back, so you feel your hips tilting one way and the other. Push the back in and then arch the back. Now do this motion a little bit faster, but then do it so it's less and less, so you kind of, you find the in-between bit, which is in the middle. So you're not pressing in and you're not arching. So you find the center point of your back, which should be the natural curve of your spine. So you'll have like a little tiny gap. You can imagine like a Malteser going just underneath your back. You're not quite squishing the Malteser, but you can feel it. Okay, so this is the position I want you to focus on. Right, I'm gonna put the timer on now. So stay there. Take your hands to your hip bones. Keep your shoulders down and focus and imagine that muscle that runs across your lower belly. Your transverse abdominus runs across. It's like a hammock shape. So just feel that and focus on that. Now take a deep breath in through your nose. Now as you breathe out, pull that flat, that muscle that runs deep inside, I want you to put it flat towards your spine, but don't move your spine. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out through your mouth. I want to hear you breathe out. And again, breathe in. Now take your hands flat to the floor. Breath in, do it in your own time. Breathe out and squeeze and flatten. So this is the movement I want you to feel. The squeeze, the flatten, and the tighten. So take a deep breath in for me. Now breathe out. I want you to hold that flat and tight. I want you to squeeze your lower tummy towards your spine. Check your knees have not dropped out to the side. Everything stays still, except for you're pulling in towards your spine. Imagine you've got someone pressing down on that lower part of your tummy. So it's that pouchy bit that is really frustrating that we just want to really try and flatten and tighten. So keep pulling in, keep tightening that, keep squeezing. Another way of thinking about it is vacuum packing your belly. You flattened, you tighten, it's squeezing as tight and tight as you can. Pull it in, flat as you can, and then release. Well done. Now that feeling that you've got of that tightness, I now want you to feel like you've got little electric shocks. So as if I've got a pin and I'm trying to prick down onto your belly, but you're taking your belly away, you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And if you're unsure, just take your hands to your hip bones and it's that bit between your hip bones that is flattening, squeezing, tightening. Do not tense your thighs, do not tense your bottom. You are isolating your lower belly. You squeeze, 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 squeeze. Come on, keep pulsing, electric shock, shock, squeeze, squeeze. Tighten that lower tummy, tighten it, flatten it, squeeze it, hard as you can, but keeping that natural curve in your spine. Well done. Keep squeezing, keep going for three, two, 
one and release. So you should feel a burning sensation in that lower part of your tummy. Now take your feet off of the floor for me. Right angle at the knees, right angle at the hips. Deep breath in, breathe out, flatten and tighten that lower tummy. And again, breath in, breathe out. Now what I want you to do is extend the legs on the breath out. So breathe in, breathe out, extend those legs, flatten and tighten. Breathe in, bring it in. And breathe out, take it away. Now if you feel your back start to take over, just keep your knees a little bit closer towards you. Breathe out as you extend. Breathe in as it comes in. Remember the pulley system I talk about? The breath is like the pulley system. Well done. Bring the knees in towards your chest. Again, take the knees out. Hold it there. Now breath goes in. And as you breathe out, you extend one leg out. I want you to hold it there. Just hold it there. Do not allow this knee to come in towards you. The bent knee stays where it is. Now lift and lower, lift and lower, lift, lower the leg, up and down, up and down, flat on that lower tummy. Keep that natural curve in your spine. Do not allow your back to take over and if it does, just bring the knee back in and hold. Breath goes in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep squeezing, flattening and tightening, working that lower tummy the whole time, just with the one leg. Well done, up and down, up and down. You've got eight seconds to go. Make sure the back does not take over. Well done, bring the knees in, amazing. We need to do the same thing on the other side. So take the hands to the knees, take it out. The other leg goes out, don't allow the knee of the bent leg to come in towards you. Flatten and tighten that lower tummy. No tension in your head in your head, <laughs> no tension in your neck and shoulders. Lift and lower with the foot, up and down. And as I said, if your, lower, if your back takes over, you need to bring the knee in slightly or come to that bent leg position with both legs. Squeezing, flattening and tightening. So it's squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Well done, you've got 15 seconds. Keep it there, squeeze it, squeeze it. Well done. How are you doing? Almost there. That's <laughs> my voice cracked. Bring the knees in. Well done. Now grab hold of your cushion. Place your feet on the floor. Now you're going to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring the knees in. And then take the feet down. Breathe out. <sighs> Breathe in as it goes down, well done. And again, breath out as you come up, flattening and tightening that lower tummy. So it's all about control. That's it, squeeze the cushion and lift. And again, lift it up. And back down, keep it there. Breath goes out as you lift. Breathe in as you go down. And again, breathe out as you lift. Well done. Take the pillow between your feet and then you're gonna take the legs out and then bring it back in. Goodness me. Take it out. And then bring it back in. Well done. Flatten and lower the lower part of the tummy as you do it. And if it gets too much to take it all the way out, then don't go quite so far. Well done. Breath goes out. And breathe it in. Well done. Take it all the way. In it goes. 15 seconds. Well done. Almost there. 
Now, we'll take hold of the pillow, put it to one side. Now, we're gonna work on the pelvic floor. Now, this is, it's really tricky to feel, but what I want you to feel is deep inside, you're gonna pull up inside and release. So you pull up and down. Now, how I was taught, it's as if you've got a, a, an, an elevator, a lift up inside you, pull it up and you release. So you've got your feet and your knees, and your hips the same distance apart. Upper body is relaxed, but you're pulling up inside of you and then you release. It's that muscle, it's really tricky to find. But imagine if you are going to the toilet, I know it's not very nice to talk about, but if you're trying to stop the flow of urine, you would clench and release. So you clench up inside, and release keep going clench it and release now this time as you clench i want you to pelvic tilt slightly up and down so pull up inside squeeze it and release i know there's probably some of you going i can't feel it i don't i can't you need to just keep trying keep focusing on that area and it eventually will come you need to squeeze up inside and release. Take that pelvic tilt slightly and try not to push down with your feet and take the pressure in your thighs. Squeeze up inside and release. And again, squeeze up inside. So you feel how you're flattening tightly your lower belly like we started off with. And now you're squeezing down below and squeezing it as tight as you can. Now this time take your pillow and take it all the way down towards your crutch so you feel like your inner thighs are also gonna squeeze and release. So you're squeezing everything. Lower belly, up inside, and the pelvic floor all the same time. So you squeeze, pelvic tilt, and release. Again, pull it up. Take the breath out as you pull up inside. So imagine that you are, just focus here. You're squeezing it and you're releasing it. And again, squeeze and release. Well done. Squeeze it up and release. Keep it there. So it looks like we're not doing a huge amount, but the inside strength that you are creating should be intense. Well done. Now this time I want you to pulse it. So you're gonna squeeze, like the electric shocks that we did before. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So up inside, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And if you feel like you can't feel it, just get that focus and have that vision of everything inside you just squeezing, squeezing. It's like any muscle that we work. In the beginning, it doesn't feel strong, but you keep working it, and then the strength then comes to you. Squeeze it, squeeze, electric shot. Everything pulls up, and up, and up. Squeeze, squeeze, well done. Keep it there, keep it there. Pull it in, squeeze. Tighten, really concentrate, focus on it, tighten it, and squeeze it. Well done. Take the pillow away from you, and let's go back now to the lower tummy. Hug the knees into your chest. Lift your head and shoulders up. Now you may want to just take your hands behind your head and let's just hold it out as far as you can go with the legs. Now, you may wanna just be here, that's absolutely fine. Or if you wanna take it all the way out, flatten and tighten. Just hold it. You've got 20 seconds. And as I always say, if anything else takes over, your back takes over, you need to bring the knees back in. 10 seconds. Take any strain away from your neck. You may want to put your head and shoulders down. 
Well done. Place your feet back on the floor. Now let's really work the pelvic floor. So let's pull in, squeeze. So feet are flat. Everything squeezes up, up. Come on, pulse it, pulse, pulse. Come on, feel it. Focus on it, squeeze it. Feel like you are really squeezing down below. Well done. Breathe out as you squeeze. Try not to push down into the floor with your feet. Try not to take the pressure with your thighs. Isolate down below. In. Squeeze. 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 Well done. Almost there. Ten seconds. Well done, everyone. Pulse it. And squeeze. Well done. Okay, we just have, I believe, yes, one more minute. So we're going to work the lower tummy one more time. So, head and shoulders up and down, up to you, taking the legs out. And let's just kick the legs, a little flutter kick with the legs, point the toes. Lower tummy is working. Back and pack that lower tummy as flat as you can, squeezing, tightening all the way. And if you're finding it a bit too much, bring the knees just in and take it into a bent leg position. You have 18 seconds to keep pulsing it with that kick. Well done. Keep flattening it, keep it tight. You are strong, you can do this. Keep it going. Almost there. Well done. Knees are in. Amazing, well done. Super difficult to feel the pelvic floor muscles, but it's a great addition to the Body Sculpt Week. So well done, everyone.